Losing that last bit of stubborn belly fat is always the most trickiest. New research and science has proved that the traditional way, crunches, endless amounts of exercise, very low extreme calorie intake does not work. I'll explain in this video exactly what the science shows and what the new studies prove is actually working. If you've stumbled across my page and you don't know who I am, well, over the past 12 years, I've personally been working on my shape, getting below 10% body fat on many occasions I've achieved after many years of trying. I've also helped hundreds of individuals. So let's look at what the science says. Well, first things first, we know that the science points to the direction of very low calories create stress. If a person eats extremely low calories and they're working out often, they often increase their cortisol, which is one of their primary stress hormones. They also decrease their testosterone production. Now, when they decrease their testosterone and increase their cortisol, belly fat becomes more stubborn. So the body prefers to hold on to this belly fat region. Now, what you may find, though, is you may see fat loss in other areas, legs, face, arms, back, but you won't see fat loss around that stubborn area. This is because within the belly area, you have cortisol receptors, which basically tell the brain that you're in an extreme low calorie deficit. And what happens is the brain then stops the metabolism from speeding up and it just slows it down. And then this protects that belly fat region in the stubborn area, but you may see fat loss in other areas, but that belly region area, the body prefers to keep it there. There's a couple of reasons why, and the research points at this. Number one, for protective purposes. If you was to get into a car accident or a, let's say a fight, and you had very zero body fat percentage around this area, if you get punched in the stomach, you don't have much fat to protect you. So the body sees that as a way to hold on to that, particularly if you're in a stress state, which you may be if you're doing endless amounts of exercise, which also the research points at too much exercise can be a detriment to losing belly fat. And again, like I mentioned, exercise, you may burn off fat around the face. You may start losing weight around the legs, but that belly region through doing more exercise won't do anything because of that stress response from cortisol and the brain telling the body to hold on to that, particularly through the cortisol receptors that I mentioned. So that's one of the key insights from research that I learned is more exercise, more running, more high intensity training, plenty of classes does not directly burn belly fat. A, that belly fat will just stay put and you'll become increasingly frustrated that you can't physically burn it off. No matter how much exercise you're doing, how many 5am gym sessions you're doing, how low you're pulling your calories, the research is real it points as that low calories particularly 50 or 60 percent calorie deficit beyond total maintenance can be a det detriment to fat loss around that area so the key thing is to understand that the science points in the direction of not always more exercise and low calories does work now, also the research does point, again, at stress being one of the biggest causes. So if a person is not sleeping, and the research points also to this, as sleep, poor sleep and lack of sleep hours being one of the also culprits. The research also points that if you're in an extreme calorie deficit and your testosterone is dropping, then you're at a high risk of losing muscle tissue, which could be counter productive for fat loss because if you start losing muscle tissue week one you're not losing much but then by week six if you've lost a pound of muscle tissue less muscle a person has the slower their metabolic rate their metabolism goes so the chances of losing fat with less muscle becomes increasingly much more difficult whereas if you start your 
cut with, let's say, a ton of muscle mass and you maintain it very well by keeping your testosterone level high, the research has pointed that your metabolic rate will stay quick, which means you'll be burning off calories, it, particularly if you're at moderate deficit, which we're going to get into. So that's what the research points at. Low calories doesn't work unless it's absolutely controlled and it's in balance with your output, so your physical exercise, how much running you're doing, how, much, how many gym sessions you're Now, if you're waking up in the morning feeling tired, feeling like you're lacking energy or groggy, you may be very stressed. And that cortisol may be so high that if you wake up in the morning and you feel tired, your body has not been able to recover properly at night. So we have to look at the research and point in the direction of our hormones, which is really what I'm getting at here. They play a critical role in helping us lose belly fat, not how much we exercise or how little we eat. It's our hormones. They are an orchestra of how they conduct our belly fat loss. So let's get into what worked for me. And that was looking at the research and dissecting what were it was pointing towards and the key thing the research was pointing towards was a moderate calorie deficit not a very aggressive one which i used to do baiting very clean lowering my carbs and just pretty much going super clean with my meals not drinking no alcohol no fast food zero nothing now the research pointed that you have to be slightly flexible with your calories working some cheat meal here and there which is definitely what i did so i worked in a cheat meal once a week it gave me a slight amount of flexibility with my calories so i wasn't always in a very clean state low calorie deficit the research also point was getting that deficit right first of all working out your maintenance calories so that's what i did i worked out how many calories i need to maintain based off my body weight my age my activity level so how many steps i was doing but also my overall calorie intake, how many calories my body needed. So I worked that out and I set my maintenance for a couple of weeks, tracked my calories. And then what I did was I found out what my maintenance was. Then I worked out my calorie deficit. So I put myself into a moderate calorie deficit of just 20%. Now this definitely played a big role for me because I instantly started to lose fat and I started to see the changes with just a small deficit. And it was a lot more food than I was eating before actually. Probably about six or 700 calories more than I was eating when I was trying to lower that belly fat aggressively and it wasn't working. So now I'm eating more food and also the research pointed at I found was not too much exercise is also the key driving force. So getting your recovery right. So what the research pointed at was just free full body workouts per week and moderate amount of steps about eight to ten thousand steps a day but what i found was it wasn't pointing the direction of train every day you've got to train crazy amounts do loads of exercise every day you've got to get up and run you've got to train and just every single day it wasn't pointing at that it was saying free workouts a week is what you need but you need to recover as hard so on the four days that i wasn't working out i was doing steps but i was recovering I was prioritizing my sleep, I was tracking my food, I was eating better, having more carbs, and I was feeling great. I was feeling more energized, I was feeling actually better in the gym, so I was feeling stronger, I was lifting more weights. My performance output in the gym was improving over time. So what I found was getting my balance of trading and calories and macros right actually was the key to losing fat and unlocking that belly fat loss but also paying atten attention to my hormones particularly like i mentioned my cortisol which i find was my stress levels was coming down i was feeling way less stressed i think it's because i was sleeping better because i wasn't exercising every day and i was getting my recovery right so my sleep was good and i was getting up in the morning feeling energized first light i get out and do some movement and I felt great doing that. And that got my steps in on my rest days. I was doing 10,000 a day and I was feeling great. My muscles weren't as sore because I felt I was recovering well. If you're enjoying this type of story, I put out videos every Monday. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video. So in reflection, 
we have to look at the science, what it is saying and how the science is pointing at the direction that we don't need to overexercise. We don't need to eat very low calories or eat super clean. We have to get our balance right. The science points that at losing belly fat. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comment section. And I wish you all the best of luck with your journey. Hope it all works out for you. And if you have some time, you can watch my next video here. That is on one of the people that I've helped lose belly fat recently. Have a great day. Bye for now.